What's going on guys, it's the CH here with our eighth tutorial now on introduction to HTML and CSS. In the last video we learned how to create links to other web pages and wrap them around text. Well in this video we're going to learn how to wrap our link tags around our images. So first thing first is we need to go to our folder, Village Park, on our desktop. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to create a new folder called Images. So on a PC, you might have to right-click for new folder, but on a Mac, you just click right here, and I'm going to title it Images. Perfect. So I'm going to open up a browser, and I'm going to go to, since we're already on eBay, I'm going to stick with eBay, so I'm just going to pull it up in a Google search, go over here to click Images, and find a JPEG, or a PNG, or a GIF. It doesn't matter, just any bit, bitmap image. So I'll just take the first one. Here's a PNG, that's fine. And I'll go ahead and drag it to my desktop. And I'm going to, uh, just for directory purposes, I'm just going to change it to JPEG and lose the E, even though it's the exact same things. But if I have JPEG here and JPEG on my index.html file, it will not read it correctly. So that's what we're looking for, images.jpeg. So I'm going to take this image now put it in my images folder that we just created. Now this should be the only folder in there. Perfect. Okay, so now I gotta open up my text editor. Still on TextMate. And I'm gonna open up my browser. Okay. So in the last video, we created a link to eBay's site and we opened it up in a new tag with the target equals underscore blank right here. But in this video, I don't want to wrap it around a text, I want to wrap it around the image that we just downloaded off Google Images. So this is how we source images in HTML. We've got img space src equals, now we need to find the directory of where it is on our computer, not where, where it was online, so there's no .com at the end. So we set it to our images file, and inside our images file we named it images dot jpeg we're gonna go save this we're gonna go open it up and reload it in our browser and there it is boom here's our web page and we're gonna click on this and there it is it's gonna open it up on eBay's homepage and a new tab which is perfect that's exactly what we're going for if you just threw if you just um, so we'll take our images file back out here to our desktop I had a really hard time with getting my directory listens when I first started coding and, and uh, learning HTML and PHP and all these things. So say we didn't have these images folder and we just had our village park folder and we took our images and dropped it in here without the images folder. It's just a JPEG inside our root folder of village park. So now we're going to go back here, control save it and reload it and it's not going to read. It can't find the directory on our computer. That's because we have it set up in our images folder on our source. So what we need to do is we need to delete that because we deleted the folder. So now it just knows to recognize it on our computer as images.jpg. We're going to go ahead and save that. Reload it again. And voila, it's back there. But I like all my images in one folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, create the new folder. Repeat the same thing that we just did. Drop that in there, save it again, reload it, and it should still work. Perfect. If your image is not showing up, like what we just saw with that little icon over here, you probably have a, a spelling error wrong with your images, but um, directories can be tricky. Kind of play around with it and uh, get comfortable with it, but that's it. We just added a image to our website, and we linked it to eBay's homepage, so you guys can kind of see how the links and the images and in the next video the unordered lists are all going to come together so i'll see you guys over there please subscribe to my video and good luck with this